Hey guys, happy Tuesday. It's a great day in Houston. It's beautiful outside. It's nice and warm. When I say warm, I mean extremely hot, extremely hot. Um, so I decided to come on here and do a, a live video today um, to talk about a couple of things. But as uh, I did in the last video, a uh, disclaimer that I am a dog mom. I have two fur babies, and at any given point in time, they could start having a fit because people walk by the window in front of me. Um, so if that tends to happen, then I apologize in advance. Um, I am going to quick share this video to my um, pages. So give me a second so I can do that. Um, and boom. All right, cool. As I start to um, get people to jump on, make sure you say hello so I know you're here and I can, um, you know, have this conversation with you. So what I wanted to talk about today was more so about um, feeling ready to lose weight. Um, I have been helping people for the last couple of years on their weight loss journey. And one thing that I can tell you is that um, everybody is at a different stage of when I meet them. Everybody has a different um, journey that has led them to the point in time which you know, they decide to have a conversation with me, um, whether it just be to, to learn a little bit more about each other or if it's for them to be ultimately become a client of mine. Um, everybody has a different journey and they, they find me and, and I find them um, in different stages in their journey. Um, and so you never really know if somebody is ready to actually get started on their journey. A lot of people um, when they first approach me, they are really ready in their mind. They, you know, they they're pretty convinced that they're ready to get started to do something. Um, but when you peel back the layers and someone makes that impulse decision that they're ready to make a change, they don't always. Um, hey, Marjorie, thanks for joining. Um, they don't take into consideration how much of a change this is. Um, when it comes to losing weight, this could be an entire lifestyle switch for somebody. And mind you, I could be meeting people who are already on their path or they're, they've been on their path for a while. So again, everybody's at different stages. So when you make the, when you say, I'm ready to get started, I'm ready to lose weight, all things may not have been considered at the time. Um, so I want to peel this back a little bit more and then talk about the things that are holding us back. So if this resonates with anybody, then let me know. Um, and I want everybody to know that I totally understand. I have I've been there myself, and I'll tell you a couple of stories about this in a little bit about other clients of mine, but um, things can come up. And I want you to reflect on things that are that might be holding you back right now. Um, it could be family, um, obligations to the family that could be holding you back from getting to your goal, um, like having to or coordinate childcare to hit the gym or not having enough time to meal prep on the weekends. Maybe it's a job. Maybe at the time where you are right now, your job is the number one most important thing for you. Um, I've been there before, and I explained that in one of my last videos, that having a job, that was my first job in a leadership role, and I put that job before anything else. I mean, from working from 7 o'clock in the morning to sometimes 10, 11 o'clock when we were short-staffed, and I just wanted to make a good impression and make sure that 
um, I was representing and, and doing things the right way. I, I did that. I sacrificed myself, my health, um, and my happiness for my job. And if anybody chooses to do that, then that's not a bad thing at all. Um, it's just something that was holding me back and it's something that could be potentially holding you back. Um, maybe it's your social life. I mean, maybe you haven't considered what it truly takes to be able to um, get to your goal. Um, of course, you don't have to stop participating in social events and going out with your girlfriends and happy hours and barbecues and family picnics and um, all those great things. But maybe you haven't considered that being on your nutrition plan means that maybe you have to scale that back a little bit. Um, and instead of going out two, three times a week, maybe you go out once a week or uh, twice a month. Um, those are very realistic expectations out of a, a changing your your plan, your diet, and embarking on a healthy lifestyle. Um, so as we're talking about being ready, where I'm getting this, where I'm trying to tie this into is the fact that sometimes people are ready and in the moment you're inspired, you're ready to go. Maybe something struck, struck a chord with you. Like me, it's, you know, I get up in the morning, if I look at myself and I don't feel as slim as I was the day before or whatever the case is, maybe you went to the gym and realized that you weren't, um, you know, there's been a while and it, it's taking you a while to get back into, um, everything. Hey, Kimberly, thanks for joining. Um, as you guys pop on, be sure to say hello. Um, so I know who I'm talking to on here. Um, but anyhow, so you, you know, maybe you went to the gym and you realize that you're a little bit more out of shape than you thought you were. You know, you can't do that 10 minute mile anymore. Maybe it's more like a 15 minute mile. Um, totally happened to me. Um, so my point is that everybody has some level of when when they're trying to embark on their journey there are factors that are in your life right now that could be holding you back um and it's important to recognize those because if you don't recognize those that they're always going to um, hinder you from getting to your goal no matter what it is um there is never going to be a moment where everything is going to be 100% okay. There's never going to be a day where you, you don't have, um, you know, childcare or, you know, something could go crazy at your job and they're going to ask you to stay. There are going to be days like that um, for sure. But when you say you're ready, you have to consider that. Um, there also comes the, financial obligations and just just things that come up when it comes to investing in your health and being ready to invest into your health um, any type of investment can can require some kind of you know it costs for groceries sometimes if you're the only person doing this weight loss journey if you're the only person eating right maybe you have to cook two separate meals I've been in that situation before where I had to cook two different meals. I had to cook one for myself and then one for my partner. And that could be the case for you. Maybe your kids won't eat broccoli or quinoa or they're like, what the hell is this? <laughs> um, and so that has an expense to it. And in order for you to be ready, that's something that you have to consider. And again, as I'm bringing up these examples, I really am just trying to pull that out of you to know that when you say you're ready, that there are things in your life that could hold you back. Um, and when it comes time to make that commitment to yourself, those things are going to be challenged. Um, and those are things that you have to work through. Now, I want to I wanna talk to you about a couple examples. So I've worked, like I said, um, I've worked with a couple of different people over the course of the last couple of years. And two people in particular, but I'll talk about one who, when we first connected about her journey and wanting to lose weight, she was ready just like anybody else, right? We're like pumped up for, you know, like January 1st. We're like New Year's resolution, New Year, new me. We're about to get snatched 2018, you know, <laughs> if anybody can relate, let me know because I've been there. 
Um, and this was a, 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 a little bit ago, of course, and um, she was ready. But then when it got to actually uh, doing her program, which, you know, mind you, is not very challenging. You just have to eat right, right, and exercise and stuff like that. There's no magic to that part. Um, she had every excuse and not in a bad way. Listen, I just mentioned several things where things could come up and they're in your daily life and you don't know that those are holding you back, right? Work, daycare, um, you know, work, more work, being demanding, um, having a significant other. These are all the things and preparing her food. These are all the things that were holding her back from being able to, to evolve into the person that she wanted to be. And I remember having conversations with her about, you know, um, how to make things easier for her, how to, you know, uh, coaching her through that time. But when she said she was ready, she wasn't actually ready to make that choice. You understand? Th those things that were was holding her back were continuing to hold her back because she didn't realize that she could get past that. Now I want to fast forward because there is a good part of this story. Um, eventually, she became ready. And when she became ready, I'm telling you, it was like, watch out, because fast forward, she's down 100 pounds after my program, because um, that wasn't on me. That was just me helping her to get started on her plan. And she just took it and ran with it. And um, the difference is when you say you're ready and when you actually do what it is that you want to do is making a decision. Um, anytime you embark on anything new, the thought can be great, but you have to truly make a decision that you are going to take yourself from point A to point B. And when you do that, you are making a conscious decision that it doesn't matter what's in your way. It doesn't matter about childcare. It doesn't matter about meal prepping. It doesn't matter about your job. Hey, Sunny. What matters is that you made a decision to invest into yourself, into your health, into, into evolving because you're worth it. And you are going to get from point A to point B no matter what. And when she made that decision versus just saying that she was ready, let me tell you, watching her evolve is an amazing transformation. And I hope that she can see that she'll see this. Um, she'll know exactly who I'm talking to. And um, and sometimes she'll shoot me a text message and just say, I want to give you a progress on myself. And she'll send me her before and afters and just say, you know, you know, thank you for pushing me. But truly, I'm there to support 100%. And I'm there to mold and provide direction and come up with a plan and all that other stuff. But without her making that decision and trusting the process, she would have never got from point A to point B. Um, another client I had the exact same thing. It took her a year between when she first said she was ready to when she made that decision. But when she made that decision, completely different. Um, and um, again, if you guys pop on, let me know. Say hello. Um, you have to decide that you are ready. And when you are saying that you are ready, Think about what might be holding you back. Um, do you have childcare? Do you have um, do you have an, a demanding job? You know, maybe your partner isn't on the same page as you. Maybe they don't want to eat healthy, or maybe they don't want to go work out. Are you committed to yourself to do this no matter what? No matter if people are asking you to stay late at the office. No matter if your friends had this impromptu. Um, trip to the bar after work they want to hit up happy hour and it's thirsty thursdays but you had a a meeting to go meet with your trainer are you gonna are you prepared to, to say you know what not tonight or are you prepared to go and still not indulge in some of the things that they're indulging in are you prepared for that it could be a scary thing but it, it's truly not once you start and once you make the decision to invest in yourself you are putting yourself first and you're saying no matter what this is what goes 
And what I can tell you is that once you get to that point, everything shifts. Everything shifts and things align. And, you know, you'll go from the, the person who is, you know, that weird person over there that wants to watch what she's eating and, you know, watch what she's drinking, doesn't want to party all night long and go to this happy hour and to, wow, you're really losing weight. What are you doing? You know, to, hey, can I come do that with you? Um, things shift when you start to shift. Um, so it all starts with not just saying you're ready, but in, instead making a decision that no matter what comes in your way, you are going to put you first. And that is not a selfish thing. Um, I think a lot of us with families, especially in obligations, feel pretty pretty bad like we're like we're doing something doing someone else a disservice because we are putting ourselves first but let me tell you you have to be a better you so you can serve everyone else um, you cannot be you, your your glass cannot be half full you cannot give yourself to anybody if you're not fulfilled inside and I tell you this from personal experience that um, when I don't feel my best, when I don't feel like when I go through those, when I've gone through those months in the in the past where I've taken several weeks off the gym, I let myself go. I've been eating a shit ton of food that I knew I shouldn't have ate. I completely kicked my diet out the door, um, which I've been there. Trust me, I have. I don't feel my best, and when I'm that person, that manifests itself outside in my environment from the house to relationships to friends and family um so if you're not happy and if you if you're not happy where you are right now in terms of your 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 health um and your weight loss journey is at a standstill ask yourself is it not only just not benefiting you but is that translate into places outside, you know, in your environment, to your partner, to your family, to your kids? Would you be a happier you if you felt happier with yourself? And nine times out of 10, 10 times out of 10, the answer is yes. Um, but the, the thing is, is that you, we probably, in the moment that we are in at this present time, have not made that connection. So you see, getting in a regimen for yourself and losing a little bit of weight and getting healthier is not just to improve you it's to improve your life and your relationships and your job and your sex life and all of the stuff that's important because those things are and um so that is why it is super super important to make the decision to put yourself first but it isn't always easy. And just going back to my client where, you know, she had everything she needed to possess in order for her to get her from point A to point B, but she needed a little bit of support. She needed a little bit of guidance. She needed a little bit of help and structure and direction to get from point A to point B. And that's exactly what, what I was able to provide her and anybody else that I coach in my programs. Um, and it doesn't have to be, you know, me it could be anybody else who you um who you resonate with and whose story resonates with you and who you feel like you're compatible with um but in my program i i specifically help women uncover and make a decision about putting themselves first and and guiding them along getting from point a to point b so they can finally lose that 20 pounds so they can finally lose that 30 pounds or so you can be another one of her and losing that 100 pounds if you needed to and reducing her medications and um, becoming more healthy and ha being more active and gaining her confidence. I mean, I looked on Facebook the other day and she started her own business and I don't know that it had anything to do with her weight, but I can tell you her confidence is through the roof. And, um, and you can see that through her posts and her pictures and just the things that she decides to bring to my attention um you know whenever she sends me a message so um if you guys are in that place where you feel like you are ready and 
you are ready to make a decision. And, no, let me take that back. You have decided, you had actually made a decision to take your health from where it is now and, and get unstuck in your weight loss journey. And you want to get to the person that you've always wanted to be. You want to get to that place of happiness and where you're happy and satisfied with yourself. Then I encourage you, I urge you to reach out to me because I want to help you. Um, I want to help you become the best that you can be and, um, and finally lose the weight that you want to look, lose and finally feel healthy. My dog wants you to, too. <laughs> so I am going to um, put a link down below and um, invite, you to, um, invite you to come talk to me. And if you, are, if you feel compelled, book that consultation. Let's see if we can get you some clarity around where you're getting stuck, get you to start seeing that. You, all you need to do is make a decision, and we can find out if this program is for you. Um, and if not, I'll be sure to point you in the right direction. So um, I'll leave that link down below um, so you guys can click on that. And, um, yeah, so I think I hope that this message resonated with someone um, out there, even if just one, because I want to help as many people as I can to feel what I feel, what my other clients have felt. Um, as well. So um, that is all for today, you guys. I am going to let you go. I hope you have a fantastic Tuesday. And that's my <laughs>